woody buggers are tied very different ways and this is going to be an olive woody bugger and I'm going to start with my hook I've got a bead on there and I'm going to add uh, 10 wraps of lead get 10 trim off my lead I'm going to put down a thread base number one to cover the shank of the hook but also to capture my lead I'm going to go back to the bend of the hook and go over the lead a few times I'm going to trim off my excess I'm going to add some olive marabou do a pinch wrap to hold it in place trim off the excess Now I'm going to put on an olive grizzly hackle. Bring my thread to the front. First I'll trim off that excess feather. Bring my head to the my thread to the front. Now I'm going to take three pieces a peacock curl and tie them in. Once I've got them tied in, I'm going to take a piece of Madeira thread. I like this thread, it's very sparkly. This is Ice, is the brand or the name of it. So I'm tying that in. Now, once I have everything tied in, I take my, I'm going to back this out for you too. Let me back my camera out and back out. I'm going to grab my peacock curl, my Madeira thread, and I'm going to take my string and pull it up so they're all together. I'm going to hold it basically on a 45 degree angle with my string. And believe it or not, I'm going to use my rotary vise. I'm going to put this feather out of the way. Let's put it in the material clip. By twisting, or rotating the vise, it twists all the material. Peacock curl is breaks very easily with it twisted like this. It's not going to come apart. And uh, it'll make a very strong body. I've watched Gary LaFontaine tie this way and also let me zoom in again also Lefty Craig now I'm going to rotate Material back to the bend of the hook. And once I have it down there, I'm going to hold the material, pull my out my extra thread, and basically capture that material with my thread. Once I've got it secured, I will trim off the excess. Bring my thread to the front. I'm going to take my hackle feather and wind it forward.
I'm going to trap that feather. I'll do three turns over it, two in front, and come on back again. Trim off the excess. Make sure I don't trim my thread. Tie, make sure everything's tied down. Do a whip finish. Cup of thread. Take a little bit of Dave's flex cement. And I'm going to back out a little bit so you can see it. Here's my willy bugger. I like the tail. I trimmed it a little bit before. But that is a willy bugger, my version. And thanks for watching.